let's change its uh, hormones, if you like, the outlet in our democratic dispensations. And elections can be difficult, elections can be emotional, but we're very pleased that uh, the elections that happened during our time for the year that has passed were uh, reasonably peaceful and delivered leaderships that certainly now can be proud uh, as, a, as a group that uh, we have maintained or managed to have a peaceful transition of leaderships from one team to another during the last year. I must say that this is work in progress and look forward to the elections that are coming uh, the latter part of this year, calendar year, and we want to encourage our member states, our citizens, in our individual countries to support the electoral processes, to campaign, to conduct elections, as I said, so pre-election, during election, post-election, in an peaceful and tolerant manner, because that's what we keep our region safe and allow space for economic and social development to play its critical part, which is the area that we will get elected in office to deliver the cause as well. All right, so you guys have seen now that um, Hakani Hishilema opted to participate via Zoom. What an embarrassment, really, just because of the tensions between Zimbabwe and Zambia. Now I'm asking myself, I'm like, guys, how far are you going to go? And um, I'm so glad that the way they're stretching is definitely the last kick of a dying horse for me because it is just an embarrassment. Honestly, um, you've seen how many tweets people fighting during the day, especially um, the, those that are in Zampia really arguing, fighting a man, calling him an American puppet, right? And people are now debunking and say, you call him an American puppet, but you have a flag for China, you know, you know <laughs> definitely at the door of your parliament because China donated the parliament. It's quite very sad. But I'm going to read out the tweet that was sent out by Nick Bongwana, spokesperson in the president's office, President Emerson Mnangago. He is Say the president of Zambia, H.E. President Hakaina Hichilema, who is an outgoing chairperson of SADC organ uh, on politics, defense, and security cooperation, is participating virtually. But reasons are known by any sane and even lay person in Zimbabwe. You know, we are dealing with the rogue regime, very disrespectful lot, which I know that soon it will end. Very soon, we're very close to the end. Um, Honestly, but I wanted to actually read some of the reactions, um, you know, the, of people. They, they said he saved his his life. The hyenas were waiting in Harare, and that is B Max. And Richmond said he ain't gonna come there to dine with criminals. <laughs> okay, but these are Zimbabweans who are reacting to the tweet from Nick Mangwana. The other one said, "Mayanya kumutuka, shame on you." And also um, mix it. It is corrupt. It is a murderer. It is a criminal. It is selfish. It is heartless. It is a dictator. It is crooked. Emerson. It is, and then he said some of the horrible words that I cannot repeat. Uh, Chirandu is well said, well done, Mr. President H. 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 Lema, uh, for snubbing the zombie and brutalizing Zimbabweans. Wow. Zimbabweans are very upset as we speak. Do you also know that the Gokwe um, 12 that you saw, you know, having their mini uh, protest were actually arrested, which is quite very sad. And I had one of my, um, a political analysts, that is Ruben, sending out a strong message to President Masamunango that you don't qualify to be called his excellency. Take a listen. Zimbabwe is endowed with everything that we can ever want under the sun. But we lack one thing, we lack leadership. It's one thing having leaders, any country can have leaders. In fact, anyone can be a leader. But it's one thing to have leadership, and that's what we lack. In spite of all the fancy titles, your worship, honorable, your excellency, but you cannot call yourself excellent when you cannot provide your own citizens with water. You cannot call yourself excellent if you cannot provide your own citizens with electricity. And we're talking about towns, urban areas. We're not even referring to rural areas. Although in other developed countries or developing countries, even rural areas now expect electricity, expect their own potable water in their homes. But here we are in Zimbabwe, one of the most richly endowed countries on this planet with 40, over 40 minerals. And yet we are basically plundering those resources. Look at the power utility. 
We all, all we hear about are millions and millions of dollars being looted from that establishment to enrich those who are in power, yet the country does not have electricity. Look at local authorities. We do not even have water in our homes. Most have gone for months. Others have gone for years without water. Old women, men, children have to queue at balls. We have to gather water that is raining from our gutters to provide for our families. And yet we say we've got a leadership in Zimbabwe. That is not leadership. Yes, leaders, it's a title. You can have, anyone can have a title. But leadership, it's a quality. It's what you do with that position of being a leader. What are you able to provide? What are you able to produce? Are you able to cater for the people that you are leading? Are you able to improve and add value to their livelihoods? If you cannot do that, you are not a leader. Don't call yourself a leader. It's just a title, an empty title, but leadership means that you are able to take care of that old woman. You are able to take care of that widow. You are able to take care of that pensioner. You are able to take care of the young generation, the children that are growing up today. Do they have a future? Do they actually see themselves in this country in Zimbabwe and say, I have a future. When I grow up, I'm going to be so and so. And, or do they just look forward to being vendors, to be makorokoza, it is no minors. What, what do our, our children actually look forward to being when they're going to school? No wonder most of them drop out of school. No, no wonder most of them even end up taking drugs and just ruining them, their own lives because they do not see any hope in a country like this, the only people we have hope in this country is when you go into politics. And when you go into politics, you go into government. And that's why we have a ruling elite that does not want to get out of power. They would rather kill to retain that power. Why? Because they know outside there, out of those offices, outside of that, uh, that gravy train, there is poverty. There is suffering. That's why they say it's lonely out there. They cannot survive outside the realms of power. And you, you, you cannot then call yourself a leader if the only person that is being taken care of is yourself, is number one, and your family, and your friends, and your relatives. And the rest, the millions of Zimbabweans have to be fed by non-governmental organizations, have to be fed by the United Nations for you, and yet you call yourself a leader. That is not leadership. You should be ashamed if you are to call yourself your excellency. And yet your own nation is being fed by donor countries, is being fed by other countries. Yet the millions of dollars that we are supposed to get from our mineral resources, that we are supposed to get from our rich, the riches that God provided with this, provide us with, are being spent frivolously by those in power. They can go on holiday in the United States of America and they show us the pictures. They are not ashamed. They can charter private planes for millions of dollars and yet their own people have nothing. To eat. Their own people are being fed by other countries. We have to go around because we have no electricity and we have to beg for leftovers from neighboring countries. Ah, Mozambique, do you have anything that you left over from providing for your own people? South Africa, do you have anything that you've left over from providing your own people? So what about Zimbabwe? Reduced to a nation of beggars. We have to go around begging for leftovers. That is embarrassing. That is a shame. There's nothing excellent about that. Excellency, just like leadership, should be seen in what you deliver, should be seen in what you provide, it should be seen in what you're able to do for the people that you lead. And as far as Zimbabwe is concerned, there's nothing excellent about being your excellency. It's a shame. It's a disgrace. It's abominable. Zimbabweans are suffered are suffering and they've suffered enough. And we are suffering because people are greedy and they just want to take care of themselves. That has to end. People have had enough. Incredible submissions there, Ruben. And um, it's painful to hear. You know, I feel you, the emotions are deep. The scars, you know, trauma. Zimbabwe don't deserve the kind of leadership that we have. It's not even a leadership. These are simply people who have gone to just make us suffer. I think they just hang on a thread and the reason is because they're afraid of the atrocities they've been committed over the years because they know there'll be consequences. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be a way out. I'm a firm believer that something's going to give soon than we think. And we keep on praying and really asking God to divinely intervene in our situation and also us taking action as a people and make sure we free ourselves. Anything, whatever it takes, the freedom is coming.